Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV, and I've got here from the blockbuster summer movie this year, Captain America Civil War. I've got a Captain America figure from Bandai SH Figuarts. So stand by for a Captain America toy review. Yeah, and so whose side were you on? Who did you support, Iron Man or Captain America? And why? I, I, the whole thing confused me. Honestly, the plot kind of confused me in the movie. But you had you had Scarlet Witch, you had Scarlet Johansson, you know, and, and Black Widow, and you got the Iron Man, you got Captain America. Only guy Hawkeye, only guy I missed. I missed the Hulk. Why couldn't the Hulk show up too? I guess he was running off because he was embarrassed last time. But you got <laughs> you got this Captain America figure. It's a uh, part of the Bandai SH Figure Arts line. It's the high end collectible series everybody wants to do these now uh uh hasbro uh has you know has their own their black series with star wars and uh there's a number of makers in japan who make these kind of high-end figures and this is this is bandai's version i'm going to compare it i'm going to uh, we're going to compare it to what i've got from kyoto i don't have a captain america but i've got a kyoto iron man and i've got the uh black series from hasbro for uh, a star wars stormtrooper guy scout trooper and uh, I've got a uh, Marvel Legends, I forget who this is right now, but I'll, I'll think of it, I'll remember it. We'll look at that, we'll compare them. And I'm gonna try to pose, because uh, Captain America is not above using firearm weapons sometimes. So I'm gonna try them to pose them with some of these scale, one to 12 scale uh, Tomy Tech weapons that I picked up in Japan as well. And in and, and, and doing that, we'll have a little, maybe a mini review of those as well. So. Let's get a close look at the box. Okay, so here's a good look at the box. And uh, I left the price tag on, it's 5,950 yen. That works out to be $58 American, yeah. A little steep. If you got the Marvel Legends figure, uh, and by the way, this is Captain Marvel, <laughs> if you didn't know. Uh, the Marvel Legends figures are about the same size. Uh, less detailed, yeah, probably. I think you got you to find that $58. But yeah, the Marvel Legends, if you bought these new, if you're getting them new in the store, they're going to be about $20, right? But, uh, boy, the prices really go up once they're out of stock and you got to buy them from these small shops. So, I don't know, but 58 bucks, yeah. Not to mention the uh, ticket price of the airline to fly over there to Japan. But that's it. Tomasi Nations is their uh, logo for... The exports, uh, if you're buying these in the U.S., you're going to find that. Bandai also. Tomashi Nations also indicates specialty products, not, not big mass market kind of products. SH Figure Arts, I've told you that's the line of toys that, they've, uh, that they're making. Highly detailed, very poseable, etc., etc. This is authentic. It's got the Japanese writing on it. And I bought this in Japan. They don't mess around with uh, bootlegs. They're saying here he's movable, he's got excellent molding, he's got a digital print. I guess the face is supposed to be lifelike. And extra parts. You always like extra parts. Well, you ready to get them out of the box? Okay, so slipping it out of the box and... Mmm. Mmm, yeah, I like that PVC smell. Yeah, oh yeah, it's nice. And uh, there's even like uh, some instructions. So there's so many little pieces that they're showing you how to put it together. And... Uh, Here's a quick look at all the pieces parts. Look at that. I, I'm counting one. You know, the main body is one, another head, two, a shield, and then uh, two, four, six pairs of hands, and uh, some things to hold the, I guess, to hold the shield different ways. I don't see a pose stand. Um, maybe this is a little bit of a pose stand here. Well, okay, let me get all these pieces out and play with them a little bit, and we'll see how they work, okay? All right, we'll be right back. And here, I'm taking them out, and uh, I appreciate that they've got, they not only have some plastic, like, wrapping around his torso of the guy, Captain America, but also they've got, even got some little plastic inserted in here, which I'm going to have to figure out how to pull this out. I think I may have to pull them apart a little bit, but they've got extra plastic in there so it doesn't chafe too much. And I see a lot of, boy, there's just a lot of articulation and flexibility built into the hips. This is something I have really have not seen before. See that? We're going to have to explore that. Look at the kneecaps and stuff. Wow. And, wow. I mean, his face is remarkable. I'm going to have to, I'm, he's so detailed, I'm going to have to get my macro lens camera to give you the close-up shots of this. So you can really see 
uh, how well the likeness is. All right, let me let me get this put together. Okay, let's check the size of this guy. If you hold up the ruler, you'll see he's just about six inches tall, or that would be uh, 15 and a half millimeters, right? And you compare him compare him to some of the other guys. Here's a, a Star Wars Black Series, right? A little bit taller, a little bit bigger, not much. A little bit beefier too, actually. And that's uh, true of the Star Wars series, the Black Series, uh, more detailed figures. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But you can see he's a little bit beefier figure. Now, compared to, I don't have Marvel Legends Captain America. I'm sorry. I can't buy every freaking toy. Here's, Cap here's Captain Marvel, right? If I'm wrong, I'm sure 500 people will tell me. Again, a little bit taller. That's, that's typical of the Japanese figures. And these sizes, they're, they always do run a little bit smaller, generally. Except now I've got this Kyoto. Kyoto, if you don't know, is another Japanese company that makes these super articulated figures. They're known for this Revolve Tech thing, their line. I've got some more to talk about. I talked about Iron Man here a while ago. Revolve Tech, Iron Man from Kyoto. Now he's a little bit taller. But that may be a scale situation where Iron Man would naturally be a bigger guy in scale than Captain America because Iron Man's got his iron suit, right? Maybe. Uh, of course, he's much bigger than this is your three and uh, three and three quarter inch regular size action figure from Hasbro. For uh, And then Jada sent me this little guy. You know, yeah, he's bigger than that too, of course. Okay, all right. And it comes to some directions. Wait, wait, don't throw it away. Not this time. These are good to keep. You know why? Because Japan, this is a Japanese toy, and they've put in bilingual directions. Do you know what that means? Bilingual. Two languages. It's in English and Japanese. Much appreciated. Obviously a nod to the fact that they export so many of these these days. Okay. So Cap America comes with tons of accessories. Let's check them all out. So you get three sets of hands. Always good to have. And I just noticed also... It looks like they're giving them the kind of gloves that have like uh, holes for your knuckles, like kind of like those driving gloves, short finger gloves. You guys who who read the comics or look closely at the movie, tell me if that's movie authentic. I forget, but you can see these little dots, like his less colored knuckles sticking out of his gloves, and they're on all the uh, hands. So he's got a set of open hand hands, which are useful for like if he's picking up his shield. Or if he's just standing there kind of relaxed, that's what these would be good for, see? Like when he's picked up the shield off the ground or if he's just standing holding the shield like you see him do sometimes. Yeah. And then he's got these, they're like kung fu hands, karate hands, which is weird because, um, I mean, he's Captain America and he learned to fight in World War II. If he's using karate, he would be like uh, Captain Japan, but he's not Captain Japan. He's Captain America, so he has to fight with fists. See, he's got fists to fight with. He's Captain America. He's a fist-fighting guy from World War II. Well, anyway, the Kung Fu hands are handy <laughs> uh, for throwing a shield. That's the move, like, you know, throwing a shield move. That's that's what these are for, all right? And then he's got his fists. Yeah, regular fists are good because Captain America is a fist-fighting guy. He does, and then he's got two hands here for help grip his shield, see? And that works with some other accessories I'll show you in a second. That's like his, you know, he puts his arm through the shield and the front, uh, one end of the shield, he grabs one little holder and then his, the, his forearm goes through the other holder. We'll look at that. What you don't get is a pistol. And of course he's got his shield and he may be looking at this, he may be saying, hey, wait a minute, this is beat up. Is this like battle damage? Well, it didn't come like that, okay? Let's just say... Here in the toy testing lab, I have to test the toys before I talk to you about them. And so we've been doing some testing. We've been doing some combat testing. And so the shield got a little bit of battle damage in the testing. If you flip it over, you'll see that it's got uh, some detail on the inside, like the straps. See the leather strap detail. And then it's got some holes where you can attach these other accessories. And those would include basic straps, see, two, so you can display the shield by itself with just the straps, like maybe he's holding it standing on the edge, right? And then it's it's got uh, a way you can put in the this large strap, like that strap is expanded, the fit on his uh, forearm, and then you put the fist 
holding the other strap here, see? And then you can, he can carry it that way. So that's good, yeah. And then it's got this other thing. This is a nice one. This is, uh, it looks like the strap, right? But then it also has an extension that goes out. And I got it on the wrong place here. This here, yeah. And it's got an extension and it fits over his hand, his little kung fu hand, karate hand. And that helps him look like he's throwing it, see? And so that's a nice pose feature as well. And then finally, um, he's got this kind of uh, dealy. It's a, it's a way for him to mount the shield on his back. And that's a real nice, another nice feature. Not only that it mounts on his back, but you can use this uh, to uh, use him on a pose stand. Here, let me show you how that works. Okay, see, on the back of Captain America, there's a little piece that comes off which I think I've lost it already. And it said, be careful, don't lose it. No, I still got it. You know what? Keep keep the little parts tray, right? Keep that, or else you'll lose all these parts. Keep that and put it back in the box and store it. Okay, so you get this little hole in his back. And that is where his shield will fit. If you put this little extension piece on here, see? You put this piece on, and then it goes right on his back. And now he can stand up, and he's got a shield. But also, you can do this. So here he is with his shield carrier on, see? And he's carrying his shield. You can take this off, though, and see, Bandai Tomasi Nation is the guy who makes this toy. They make this thing, a series of uh, pose stands. They're pretty nice. I, I've got a couple here at the lab that I've been using. Maybe I should do a review of these, because these are pretty detailed. They, they have a lot of uh, features. What you can do is, with this shield carrier, there's a hole here on the back that will match the, whole, the peg on the uh, stage act thingy, so you can have them stand up. Can you have them flying? Yes, but you have to be really careful. And I'll show you some poses where he's doing that. But that is a nice feature. So you could, and if you wanted to put, if you wanted to glue it or better, that, ah! <laughs> if you wanted to uh, maybe put some uh, uh, silly uh, tacky putty, you know, putty for uh, putting things on a wall, put some putty in there and that would kind of hold them together a little bit better while you were posing them in some kind of display place, a display uh, case or something. Yeah, that's a nice feature, but this will, the stage act thing fits in there. It does not fit directly in the hole in his back. I don't know why they didn't do that. I don't know. They also, stage act though, also makes this deal uh, like a doll stand uh, so that he can uh, just grab around his waist like this and then stand him up like that. That's really, that, would help, that was helping me a lot. You'll see a lot of these photos, pretty much all of them, I'm using this pose stand. Yeah, okay. Also, also, also Captain America comes with a Steve Rogers head. Well, always good to have, because sometimes, you know, he's just standing around in uniform talking to uh, Iron Man, uh, you know, in the lab and stuff, and telling him what an idiot Iron Man is, and he's a good life. And he's Steve Rogers when he does that, right? And then he and Iron Man have an argument and a fight. So, what do you think of the Steve Rogers head sculpt here on this Bandai version? How does it compare to the real guy, the real actor in the real movie? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So his open hands uh, really aren't designed to hold a weapon. But Captain America's from World War II and he's a captain in the army, so army guys are supposed to have guns. So I tried it, I got this Star-Lord blaster I got that in his hand pretty good. It's okay, but it's not really designed for that. He can hold a rifle. Here, I'll show you. Well, here, here he's got a Rocket Raccoon's rifle. It's not so hard for any action figure to hold a rifle, and he does it okay because his joints are pretty stiff. They'll hold something in there, and not like the arms won't just drop down. But bigger things, more trouble. So here, here I've got him uh, holding the big blaster that Rocket Raccoon built for Star-Lord to use in Guardians. And his hands are well configured to hold that. It is a little bit heavy for him. He's doing okay now, but he tends to kind of tilt over pretty easy. But yeah, so you got a, you got some play there you can do with your, you know, you can mix and match your weapons and accessories from other toys on the same scale. Why not? Once you see out of the box of this guy, is this fantastic articulation, uh, the, what you come to expect from Bandai in this. Notice his trunk in uh, two directions, you know, here and here. His head, 
not just twisting, but also back and forth at the head and also at the neck as well, see? It's like two places. All that stuff. I'm not going to count, but notice he's got a ball joint in the shoulder, but also up and down as well, elbows, all that stuff. It's great. Fantastic. What do you, uh, and, and um, extendable hips, see how that is? See that? That's a little bit extra. You don't see that in a lot of figures. Toes that point, toes that also uh, will extend out and help. That, those things help him stand up, see how his toe, and so he can kind of be running and it's more authentic. What he doesn't have, these are traditional style though, uh, type pin joints, right? Compared to Kyoto, they went with that Revolve Tech, which have little ratchets. You hear it? Can you hear it? Hear it? Yeah. Do these hold them better? Maybe, maybe not. See here, listen. Here, see it? Yeah. Do these hold up better? Yeah, maybe. But they don't, they're not an endless, you know, you have to go to the next clicky place to get them to stand. You, you just got those ranges. This one, this guy is kind of a fluid range of motion. And a lot, it's a lot easier to stand them up, I think. Will these get loose over time? Yeah, maybe. If you keep playing with them a lot, yeah, sure, they're going to get loose, a little bit looser. I would expect that. But it's a, a well-designed, top-quality kind of an action figure. And uh, I like, of course, I like the details on the paint, all those kind of things. His little gun, his little belt, his ammo belt, whatever, the, whatever he's using these days. He doesn't carry a pistol in this version, so... Uh, I was a little disappointed, but then when he went to S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, they, I guess he stopped using the pistols after World War II, after he got rid of uh, the Red Skull guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Ballistics test! So that's my look at the Bandai Tomashi Nations Captain America figure. I got more toy reviews coming. Hit that subscribe button and next month, at the end of next month, I'm going to be in Hong Kong for another toy fair. May have a first look at the new Ben 10 toys and products. So wait for that. Until next time, have a great day. Boring.